Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about Azure Active Directory, AD Connect tool, and its architecture. If you're quite new to the AAD Connect tool, uh, this lecture is for you. If you are already aware of the AAD Connect tool, you can skip this lecture. This lecture focuses on how the things work in the background uh, for using the Azure AD Connect tool. If you see here, you might have your on-premises um, Active Directory here with the users, groups, and your devices. Similarly, you might have your user device, users and devices groups in your Azure Active Directory. To get one solution for your identity management, like uh, to sync up these on-premises as well as uh, these accounts to uh, work in your Azure environment. Similarly, the accounts to get access the applications from cloud to your on-premises, you need to have AAD Connect to sync up these uh, user objects or groups or maybe devices so that you would be you know, getting a sync process. And that sync uh, we are going to talk about in this lecture. So how the sync process runs in the background, I'm going to explain now in this short lecture. So by using the Azure AD Connect, the advantage would be you can extend your on-premises users to sync with, uh, with the help of Azure AD Connect and the objects can be shown in Azure Active Directory. So that way you can access the resources which are in your Azure Active Directory or maybe from the cloud native applications can be accessed. So the first uh, step would be the process would be uh, once you install Azure AD Connect you would be actually connecting. I mean this tool itself will have a two connectors. One for the Azure Active Directory that is this side. Other one would be for the your on-premises that's called local AD Connector. So these are the two connectors gets installed. You see here, these are the under connectors. These are the two things we call it. One for the local Active Directory and the other one is for your Azure Active Directory. So these are the two connectors. With the help of these two connectors, that will be sync process will be initiated. So let me deep drive into the sync process. So these sync process uh, contains like Delta as well as the full. Full means as name stated, everything gets synced and Delta is the next time onwards. Only the changes gets replicated from your on-premises to your cloud. So in between, uh, if you see here, uh, you also have three different options one would be the import and other one would be the sync and export so export is a two-way between connector from your azure active directory to azure 18. so let's talk and in, into the deep drive of what are the things will be you know involved so when you install azure ad connect in the background you can you know check out here a connector space called Active Directory gets connected as well as the Azure AD Connect. In between, Metaverse is a consolidated view between these two uh, objects. You can you know view it in the Metaverse view. So let's uh, jump into more. What would happen is once you connect it to the local AD Connector, all these objects, let's say assume that you know uh, I have maybe 100 objects, all these 100 objects will be come back to uh, with the help of connector space into the Azure Active Directory. Similarly, from the Azure AD, all the objects will come into connector space called Azure AD Connector. Now, what would happen is these objects as a next step will come back to Metaverse Consolidated View. Similarly, from the Azure AD also, this process initiated uh, into Metaverse. Now, what would happen is in the background, it will validate those objects uh, like, you know, importing process once it's done, uh, it has to, you know, go for the sync process as well as the export. So this entire consolidated uh, view gets exported to your as your active directory so that's why that, that's one of the reason when if you can you know view sometimes the sync process in uh, in between it will be you know hauled for some time into the azure active directory space once this export completes 
it has to go for another level of sync process once the sync is completed the objects will be visible in the Microsoft Azure Active Directory so that's how in the background all these things will be uh, Worked. So I hope this is useful for you uh, in terms of you know understanding about the Azure AD Connect. In the upcoming lectures, we will be you know learning about a AD Connect um, installation pre requirements and also the configuration. And there are some kind of you know sync rules will be involved. Let's say you have a specific attribute only enabled users or devices or maybe some other objects to be you know synced. You can you know enable that kind of you know, configuration with the help of synchronization rule editors so we are gonna work with these uh, rules and I would be you know presenting another PPT along with a demonstration how inborn and outborn rules will be involved for the sync process and also the tools um, the configuration tool once you install Azure AD Connect you get this tool and also you can uh, edit these rules with the editor tool and synchronization service uh, and also the monitoring space and metaverse here designing and metaverse search if you are trying to you know search for a specific object like maybe here you want to search for administrator user how this user is gets uh, connected so all that can be actually uh, you can you know filter and you can get more information uh, in the upcoming classes but this is just the uh, a basic understanding about what exactly the Azure AAD Connect tool. I hope this is useful for you. Thank you for watching this. I'll catch you in the next lectures.